What's going on guys? Do it yourself in your flaw cart and today I'm going to show you guys how to change your rotors and your brake pads on a 2019 and up Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. So before we start with the pads and rotors, first loosen the lug nuts while the tire is on the ground. Then lift the truck using a jack and support it with a jack stand or wood for stability. As an extra safety measure, place the removed tire under the frame in case the jack and jack stand fails. The first things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the caliper off. I'm going to be pulling the rotor off. I'm going to be putting the caliper back on, taking the brake pads out and putting new brake pads in. It's as simple as that, guys. So in order to get this caliper off, this bottom bolt is what you're going to want to take off. So let's get into that. That is a three quarter inch bolt. And the next bolt you're gonna be taking off is right here to take the rest of the caliper off. This bolt is extremely tight. So in order to get it off, I just have a little extender. that's gonna give me that extra leverage. And that allows me to turn it off. Once I have that started, I can go ahead and grab my impact and get the rest of it off that way. Once I have those bolts off, this caliper slides right off. you just let it hang there for the time being. In order to get this rotor off, you need to take this hex bolt out. Once you get that hex bolt out, this whole rotor will slide right off. So you gotta be aware when you put this on, you want this hole to line up with where you took the hex screw out. If you don't, you're not gonna be able to position it on. So just make sure that those line up. Now you can go ahead and put that hex screw right in. So now that we have this rotor in place and secured, we can go ahead and put this caliper back in place. And that's just gonna make it a little easier for us to take these pads out. And with that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna line up where we took these bolts out, the top and in the bottom there. And then we'll put those bolts back in and then we'll be able to take these pads right out. I'm just gonna start them by hand. That way I know that I'm not gonna be cross threading them. There we go, that top one started. I don't wanna tighten them up yet. I wanna get both of them started and in place before I go ahead and tighten them up. I'm gonna start it with the impact. I'll get most of it on. And I'm gonna finish tightening it up with the ratchet. Make sure those are nice and tight. And they are. We have our rotor back in place. And now we're gonna be taking out these brake pads. Super simple to do guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pins out first. They've got these two little clips here. You can see this one. They just come out nice and easy. Just pull it right out. The bottom one has one as well. Pull that out. Once you got both the clips out, you can go ahead and pull these pins. One pin, bottom pin. Now you've got the bottom pins out. Put those aside. You can go ahead and take this metal clip out. That's the way that I found to do it. Let's just pinch it with some with some pliers. Now you got that pinched and out. Just go ahead and pull that whole thing out. Your new kit should have a new one of these, so you don't need to hang on to this. Now that we've got that out, it's time to pull these brake pads out. Sometimes they pull out nice and easy, like so, which is great. Sometimes you may need to use some pliers though. And pull these out one at a time. And that's out. Your new kit should come with a new brake pad sensor as well, so that when you're in your vehicle, you can go and check exactly how much is left with your brake. It just looks like this. And your new kit comes with a new one. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect it here. 
and then uh, we're gonna hook it up to our brake pads. So this great clip will just push back. Be careful, these are really, they break really easily. And once you have that done, you can reach in here and that will release this bottom piece. So once you're able to get this clip out, it just, you're able to reach in there and pull up on it and you'll actually be able to get it out. You can go ahead and put your new one in there. You make sure this little ridge is gonna be up. You're just gonna push in until it clicks. Once you hear that click, you are in place. Once you've got that done, make sure just to put in the clip back onto the bracket. So you can tell these pads actually have quite a bit of uneven wear on them. I was getting quite the squeaking sounds from it. So I think that's what it was causing from. Whether my rotors were warped or not, I'm not 100% sure. But I know that there was definitely something going on. Even though I had some decent life left in these pads, it was definitely time to change them. I had about 65,000 kilometers on the truck, which is roughly 30,000 miles. So just to give you guys an idea of when I was changing these pads up. So now we've got our old pads removed. We're gonna be putting in our new pads. We just wanna make sure that this metal piece is going to be facing down when we're putting them in. Sometimes they're gonna be really tight because our, uh, our calipers are pushed in. So all I like to do is give them a little bit of a push and you can slide this in. What I'm doing is all I'm doing is I'm going behind and relieving some of the pressure on these calipers to push it in. And there we go. And we can throw our other side in. Just fiddle around with them until you get them in. They do take a little bit of fiddling, but because they are tight and they are new. So, but once those are in place, all you're gonna do is repeat the last steps as you did to take it out and put the pins back in and then put that metal piece to cover that. And before you put the pins back in, it's not a bad idea to clean up the pins. You can do it to sandpaper or whatever. You know. And that pin looks a lot better. We have our brakes pads in place. Now we're gonna be fishing our pins through. Now I got both the pins in. I'm gonna grab our little clips that we had from before and we're putting them on the other side. Now that we've got our pins in place, we're just gonna be putting this metal guard back on. These metal flaps are gonna be facing up. It's, you're gonna be grabbing the top of each one of the pins, pushing it into place, squeezing these tabs in, making sure that this is around the bottom pin. Grab some pliers. And there you have it, that is in place and secure. So in order to get the sensor in, you're gonna have to fiddle around with it a little bit. So the sensor is gonna tell you and it's gonna wear down. So you want this side on the same side as the pads. So you're gonna flip it around. You're gonna feel for that groove that was at the end of the pads. And then you'll be able to push it into place once you feel that. There we go. Once I pushed it into place, you do feel it. You make sure that uh, that piece I showed you is against the rotor so it wears down with the pads. And just a reminder, this sensor is only on the driver's side. It is not on the passenger side as well. So now you've got the rotor all completely done. All you're gonna do is you gotta replace your tire. And that is it guys, that is how you change your rotors and your pads 
for your brakes on a 2019 and up Chevy Silverado. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, take care.